is going on? Am I a roofing fan? I would want So I think we're going to do... Okay, another big cleaning going to happen down here. So you're going to see a lot of kind of funky corals that have been growing and collecting for a while. This episode of Fragbox TV is brought to you by... The world's most beautiful nano reef tanks. Start your reefing adventure at reefcasa.com. What's going on? My reefing fan. My name is March. This is Tia. This is the dawn of shipping. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. The dawn of shipping is in shipping. If you order a, from us here at Fragbox and it arrives, chances are that it is now packaged by the dawn of shipping. That's his name. We're not even gonna tell oh you his God, real name. Yeah, it's a secret. Dawn of dawn of shipping. D O S. What are you doing? No, not you. Sorry, no, no, you're doing great. I don't know why I like uh, I like doing that when someone in the shop's doing something. Go, what are you doing? What are you up to over there? What are you fucking around? Thinking about removing my albies. Why? Because they're too nice. Because they're too nice. <laughs> you know, you have a very silly way of reefing. You set up this beautiful tank, and then right when it's thriving, screw it up. Right when it's perfect, looking great, better than ever. What does she do? She goes. They're, they're growing too much, you know, it's a large piece, and I feel like that's some valuable real estate. It and is. You could use more than just green. You're not wrong. Hi, Mr. Genvost. You're not wrong. But what will go in that place instead? Brighter color. Like? I haven't decided yet. <laughs> we're too soon, and we're, too soon. we're premature into this video. Your mushrooms are looking good. Not really. I, I, would I feel just, like they're like kind of stretching a bit. No, that's good. Look at not that green, green. one. Look at this. They're I don't know. They're flying. Look in the back. Oh yeah, one did come up. Why does a mushroom detach from the rock? Because it's not happening. And okay. somebody screwed with my flow. I didn't touch it. I've been in Europe for three weeks. No. Wasn't me. I, before somebody went to Europe, somebody screwed with my flow. Wasn't me. <laughs> Talk to the guys that don't work here anymore. It was not me. I changed it back. Right? Oh, are you saying you changed it? No, I changed it back. In other news, our lights are back on, on the tank. Look at this. And I wish I picked up the camera before we did our uh, almost three-day blackout because how was the algae? Not fun. Not fun. You just started working today, so we wouldn't know. Not today, but um, not good. No bueno. Look at it now. Look at how clean they look. If you're dealing with diatom, nuisance algae, or dino, which isn't really an algae, it's a, I think it's a bacteria. You're trying to outcompete other bacteria to beat it. Try lights out. You're not going to hurt anything. We turn them off two to three, uh, two to three days. Uh, a true blackout, what you want to do is what? You want to like sh black it out if you can. We have a lot of light coming in from there, from our fish system, from the reefer, um, from the uh, display tank here. So it's a lot of like diffuse light that's hitting it, but it still worked. Even, even with all that little light, it's looking really, really clean. Everything's looking happy. Glad to be back and try it. If you're dealing with algae, try blackout. I don't think it'll work for Biopsis. I don't think it'll work for, what other ones might it not work for? Bubble. Bubble, not gonna work for bubble algae. If you wanna get rid of bubble algae, grab some of these. Actually, I'm gonna do a video on them. I have a, a couple things of bubble algae. I'm gonna throw them in here just to show you how well emerald crabs will do. Instead of the algae? Yeah. Man, that is a nice one, though, you see? I know. <laughs> it's, it's brighter. Do it. It's better, yeah, swap them. I don't know if it's better. You know, that's not nice to say. All corals are I, nice. I love them all, but I think I love this one like this much more. <laughs> no, this garni. Look at that. Just ruthless. Heartless. She's done with it. It's gone. Okay, swap it. I have to do it here so I don't do it at home. Also, um, there's another uh, fellow YouTuber out there. His channel's called My Little Hobby, and he put us on to these. This is one of the best freaking things I ever picked up from a channel ever. How amazing is this? It's a Rubbermaid underwater, sorry for the sound, underwater toothbrush. Get one of these. Elect yeah, for your, or I think it's designed for grout, for doing like grout lines in your tile. It's incredible, the cleaning power. And look at this, you just use it underwater. If you gotta clean your rock, if you're dealing with um, hair algae that's like overgrown, just stick it in, or maybe, oh, let's see this. Let's see if I can use it to kill some uh, Aptasia, no, that's not Aptasia, um, Anthelia that I put in, I didn't put in here, but it keeps coming back, let's see. Do you think toothbrush versus Anthelia? Is this? Anthelia's gonna take root somewhere. Is this um, animal cruelty? 
not to Empire. It was another form, maybe. Look at that. Okay, wait. Almost gone. Okay, anyways, you can get them on Amazon. I'm not an affiliate. I don't make any money. I just want to give you a very fun toothbrush tip of the day. Yeah, I love those. I'm not. Yeah. I, like, I don't want to see it go, I just don't want it in here. Yeah, if you've been waiting for one of these tanks, the Reef Casa Flat 6 or Studio 12, a couple more days, they will arrive. If you ordered, they are coming. Um, so just be a little bit more patient. If you're in the UK, United Kingdom, what up, Reefing Fam? You can pick him up right now at Advanced Aquarium Consultancy. Go see Paul or Connor or Angela. They're all great. And Paul is a cunt. I didn't say that. Cut that part out. Okay, cut the part out when I said Paul was a cunt. Okay, we'll edit that. We'll just edit that part out. Rude. It's so crazy that you do this. Well, see, we have very different styles of reefing. Tia's is so like uh, brave and transformative. Like she'll just go in. She would change the whole rock work if I wasn't here. Yeah. 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 Just oh fuck it. The tank looks great. I'm gonna change everything. I'm so attached to it. Yeah. I can't do it. I'm like I get like. It's almost like sort of a paralysis so when it looks a certain way. I don't want the rocks to shift. I don't want them to move. I want corals exactly where they are. It's also smaller. Like it's not, you know. Like I don't have, have the idea. same. Have no, I don't have the same cojones as you. Yeah. In other ways, I do. Like, hey, let's just tear down our SPS tank yeah. and turn it into a shallow lagoon. If you want a little bit of update on how that's looking, where is the glue? Hmm. Where is the story of my life? Maybe. It should be, maybe it should be right where, oh look, what does it say? A yeah. fucking glue goes here! Ah, oh, shit, I found it, sorry. My bad, I put it there, oh my bad. <laughs> what up, bulk resupply? It was right here, the whole time, you didn't see it. Oh. Yeah, it was right there. Sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. It was exactly where it belongs. Okay, so what are we doing? Uh, I keep talking about it, it's actually happening. I don't talk shit, I walk the walk, all right? Um, we've drained it, it's on this weird angle because we wanted to get all the water out. Wave pumps, hmm, acting up. Neptune wave pumps, no problems for years. And now, not so great, not so hot. I think we're down three on this tank. The ink burn? Just the only one. Does this hook up to Wi-Fi? No, it doesn't. It does? I don't know. Ink burn, if you want to If you want to control your heater and be very safe and give you an extra level of protection, get one of these. Product placement. Don't trust the heater first. No, don't trust your heater ever. So I think we're gonna do, I think I wanna do Nero 7s, just because we're not using any in the store. It'll give us a chance to review them. I love the Nero 5s from Aqua Illumination. I love the blades, I love everything they make. So I think we'll just take off the waves from this tank. Also my Apex is get, like pretty cluttered. We have so many and it's just got wave, 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 wave. So I think it would be almost nice to break away from the Neptune dashboard and just tie it into, I really like the My AI, I, My AI app. So we'll try those out. Unless someone out there is watching, you guys want me to review something else other than those for flow. What else is there? You got the Ecotech MP40s. You have um, Jabao pumps, if you want to include them in the conversation. You, you got the gyres, you got the Red Sea Reef Waves, which I'm not crazy about. I don't really like the way the, the app controls them. What else can you use for flow? You have Reef Octopus, but we don't carry it. And you have, I think I said MP40A. You want any of this stuff that I'm always talking about in the channels? Anything on the shelves, we can send you anywhere in the world. Even if you are in Mogadishu, Africa, we will send it. You just got to pay with Western Union live stuff. Israel, we, yeah, we send stuff to Tel Aviv, Saudi Arabia, we've sent. I've sent to Romania, to South Africa, to Zimbabwe, to España, hola, to Portugal. We've sent many places. So if there's any hardware you can't find locally, happy to send it to you as long as it's Western Union. The algae in this tank, also more or less gone. Two to three day blackout. Did we lose any corals? Unfortunately, uh, two. And they are quite nice ones. So which ones did we lose? This torch coral went in looking pretty good. Came out, that's dead. There's no saving that in my professional experience that's 100% not gonna make it you see the brown you see the jelly and it's smelly so would you like to give it a whiff for the channel why come it smells like flowers come okay I'm gonna smell it off camera it smells like shit and that's how we know it's gone you were a nice coral we brought you from the ocean I loved you but your time is gone and I hope that you go to coral heaven and that your tentacles sway forever among all your cousins and friends. Goodbye. What? Guys, don't get jealous. 
you know, I know it's you guys are watching and it looks like super fun to just pick out corals out of basically unlimited thing. It is. It is fun. It is amazing. It's very fun. Okay, copycat. I'm in an elegance mood. Why are you doing that? Have some personality. Get your own get your own coral design, yo. Look at this. I just added an elegance to our 6-gallon tank. Look how good it looks. I didn't know that you could keep elegance in such a small volume. I guess it doesn't matter, really. You can keep it in any volume. As long as it's stable, keep it in a cup. This is six gallons. I've also added one here to our reefer 250. They think I'm crazy because I put it right in the middle of the rock work. And I am crazy, but that's not the reason why. It's other reasons. It looks good. And now we have a third elegance. These ones are nice because we get them from Australia. It's not the only reason they're nice, but they come small. So the ones we get from, huh? Okay, let's do a price check. Okay, I got distracted by the dawn of shipping. Uh, Indonesian elegance, they never ever come that small. They come massive, starting at six inches up to a foot across. So there's no chance Tia would able, be able to put one in this tank because it's gonna be, it's yeah. gonna be the whole tank. Your Zoas are looking bomb. Yeah. Yeah, look at the utter chaos. They're looking They're, good. The one I really like is get, kind of getting oh, smothered out. Oh, I thought we lost them. You got one. I have one. Please save those. I, I might like, Aptasia yes. X these so I it grows. Yeah, yeah, I really like them. Yeah. So yeah, elegance. Still got a lot of acans. Um, we have my cousin Leandro coming in on the weekend. So if there's some rainbow acans that you have wanted and haven't got yet, these are all going to get fraggy fraggied by March's cousin, Mr. You might have seen some of the other videos when we were calling Duncan Coral Franklin. Franklin. I think he called him Franklin. Anyways, he's really good with the bandsaw. So a lot of the frags are coming out are thanks to him. The other one that we lost in the blackout, unfortunately, again, was another torch. Now, I don't know if it's related to the blackout because look at how many torches are still doing fine. This one, you know, look at this, 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 and look at this. You know, more or less, they look really good, but unfortunately we lost this, which is the gold, or at least one head of it. Okay, so, actually, let me take a look at it. And I'll give you, no, that's a gone or two. There's no saving that. So if it, what I was checking for when I said, let's check it, is if it was two heads. If it was splitting, then there was a chance that only one was affected and the other was okay. In this instance, because it's one and we have some polyp bailout here, I'm going to say that has a 98% chance of not living. What I was hoping for was, uh, let me show you this one here. I was hoping that it would be clearly separated like that. You see there how there's two heads of torch? So if let's say we lost one, the other one can go on living unaffected, but because they're still connected by that connective tissue, in my experience, very, very low chance of him surviving. That's unfortunate. I don't know if it's related to the blackout. I just like to show you guys from the channel everything. The good, the bad, the ugly. You know, when we're doing great, um, when staff quit unexpectedly without notice and then block me, don't answer messages. I want to show you guys it all. You know, it's just, I think it feels more real and it's unscripted and we just go with the flow. This is going to be, it's going to be cool. I keep talking about it. It's because we're basically setting up a new display tank in the shop. It is going to be the largest display tank and I think it's going to be the most unusual one. It's six feet across. It's just over three feet it's actually 40 inches this way and it's only 12 inches high so hopefully today tomorrow we'll get it cleaned up and then I think next week between me and the escape queen we'll kind of start to begin to um, get the rock work going show you guys thank you someone in the comments gave me a really nice idea um, for drilling the rock putting acrylic rods and then attaching the price plugs on the end of those instead of taking the time to concrete all of the uh, Alejandro's plugs here um, I think the I think the drilling will be easier for the the price plugs I still think I need to incorporate some sort of natural looking frag rack into the rock so that we can you'll see you know what as I, I feel like I'm talking too much about it and we actually just have to do it grab some of these if you ever have to move a tank freaking awesome absolutely need them let me show you a couple new fish that we got into not too many but a small selection we focus on quality quality not quantity six line wraps hello we have an engineer goby man it's kind of dark you can't really see but a royal grandma a long nose hawkfish hello mr hawkfish tons of personality um we got some fire fish in some aptasia eating file fish if you're dealing with any aptasia if you are you could try one of those you could also try peppermint shrimp 
These guys are great at eating that. I think that's it. Maybe some chalk bass and some Rainford gobies, but check out the site. I just updated it. Anemones also on sale. We have them right now for free shipping. How does that work? If you buy one of them, I think I put them up for 75 bucks because we are just overflowing. They're normally 150. Um, if you buy one of them, your entire order will ship for free as long as it's um, it meets the threshold of 150. So you save that 40 bucks in shipping because that's what we typically charge to ship across this beautiful country. So you just buy an M and then your entire order will qualify for free shipping. Oh man, I don't think I noticed this before. Oh, look at this again. Crazy. I think I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna put this in my personal stash. Not the most striking of colors, but it, the blacky green on kind of gold stripe contrast is quite unusual. And I don't see one like that too often. I think I'm also gonna keep a purple and green one that I'm eyeing on the other side. So it's really tricky. I try not to keep too many corals from our orders and shipments because uh, I'm still a hobbyist at heart and I want to keep many of them and it's not good for business when you hoard so I typically will limit myself to one per order I think on this one I'm gonna make an exception and I'm gonna keep this one as well because I'm in an Acan mood and the garden can use just a couple more I don't have those two varieties yet and they're different but it's it's hard man it's very hard not to like just keep everything and just throw it into you know um, this tank here or the many tanks that we have in the basement because it's just, uh, yeah, you just have to be reasonable with yourself and it's a little bit of a delicate act. There's a fine, fine line there between, you know, owning the business and we're trying to make money and pay the rent and pay the staff, but also I, I love these things, so I want to keep them. Um, but I think I see a spot right there. I could place one more Aiken, so maybe that yellow one, and then maybe one more, you see right there, that green one underneath this um, Acropora. Maybe I can squeeze that purple one, and then that's just about it. It's pretty... It's pretty full. It's got a lot going on there. This, I don't know if you guys saw the other videos. This is the uh, pagoda. I've done a dip on it with iodine. Still nothing. I think I'm going to pluck it, pull it out. There's no polyp extension and I still can't figure out why. What's different about it? Everything else in the tank is basically banging. I want to give you a quick review. I might even just do a full video before we wrap this one up. This product, how are we looking? Good. Good. Okay. I'm in love with this unit. Um, it's not cheap. It's our new RODI unit from AquaFX. We don't currently sell it, so I have really no vested interest in telling you to go out and get one, but I think we're going to because I'm just so impressed with the build quality, with the features, with the built-in auto flush, the TDS. Thank you to Paul again at AAC in the UK, Reapy from Fam UK. Um, you are a cunt, but I do love you. He put me on to this and it's just a great unit. The pressure gauge is built in. You can easily adjust the pressure just by turning this. Look, I'm gonna turn the knob. Look at that. Hold on, turn it. Oh, now you're not working. Boom, see, look. See how easy it is? Just turn that knob and you can get to whatever pressure you like. I like to run it around 60. We're getting zero TDS. I think this is a large part of our algae problem and I'm gonna hook up the rest of these. Double chloramine, triple DI resin, one RO membrane for now, but so far really, really impressed. And it's nice because it comes with a plug. So if you have an Apex or a controller, um, the way I've done it right now is I've hooked it up to a float sensor in our barrel. So when this empties, it'll turn on with that plug and then it'll fill up and I have another float sensor on top. So it'll basically control the water level in there through the apex. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's our controller here in the shop. So it's gonna run really efficient. It's gonna empty the whole barrel, it's gonna turn on, it's gonna fill it back up, and then it's gonna turn off. Another big cleaning gonna happen down here. So you're gonna see a lot of kind of funky corals that have been growing and collecting for a while. I want to shut these two tanks down. It's just part of the retail experience, I think. Um, you know, every year, every year and a bit, they just get dirty. There's so much ocean life in here. I have a little bit of a bubble algae problem there on the bottom, you can kind of see. Um, even just the coralline, the detritus, it just builds up, it gets caked on the pumps, it gets caked on the glass. I find that the corals grow so well that they get a little bit neglected when they're here in the basement. So, hello fishies, you guys get no love, huh? But you're doing a great job. Some of our best staff members. It's good to just 
um, take it all out I keep a couple key pieces drain it scrub it set it back up so some of the funky stuff that I've been hiding and hoarding which I just said that I should try not to do that's been down here those pieces will come up and go for sale and sharing is caring so I love you guys and I'll share some of that with you so you'll see that kind of trickle out over the next few weeks as we get through our end of summer cleaning or whatever you want to call it uh, second spring also been inspired to turn my t5s back on these were not running and uh, I moved some of the acro down here as we do our kind of shift upstairs with the uh, that new display acro tank and uh, I really like the color rendition although they're like the most inefficient they're big they're bulky they're expensive you got to change the bulbs they produce a lot of heat they take up a lot of electricity there's really nothing good they're fucking awful in every aspect except that they make the corals look fantastic like and they're easy like you just plug them in you run them eight hours a day your acro are gonna look great you don't have to um, worry about you know red green UV blue uh, scheduling programming you know LEDs they're great they've come along so so far but there's something still so nice and simplistic and, and maybe I'm, I'm just old school but you can see I'm still running one two Three, I have uh, 24 bulbs to change out at least every six months in the shop. This one was off for a while, but I, I, uh, I'm kind of missing it. I'm kind of reminiscing. It's what I started with was the Halide T5 combos. And I still, it, although it is filthy, I do really, really like the um, the, Kel the color output, the Kelvin that we're getting out of the T5. Okay, we're getting a little ranty and reminisce and off topic, which is kind of how the whole channel goes. Uh, if you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. That's it. I think we're going to wrap it up. At some point, I will begin editing the videos from Europe. Uh, there's going to be a lot of work that goes into those, so you'll see them kind of trickle out as I find the time. Again, if you've ever thought about working with us, now is the time to apply. We have a few applicants. Um, yeah, apply, because once we've hired, we've hired, and that's it. So this is kind of your, your shot. And we'll see you guys back here on the next episode. We'll see what Tia does with her fucking craziness here in this tank. Every time it does well, you're nuts. You know that? That's why, that's why we work well together. Compliment the crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay, we'll see you guys back here on the next episode. Thanks for watching this one, and goodbye for now. Blue mushroom. Hmm.